Okay, it's been a while. I haven't been lazy. I swear I haven't been lazy. Maybe a little bit lazy, but it's Tuesday, which means it's Tech Tuesday. A while ago I did a video on the GoPro Hero 5 and how it's performing still in this year 2020. You can check out that video up there if you're interested, but that video is doing really well. So I figured now would be the perfect time to follow it up with another Tech Tuesday about my personal favorite little tech investment, the DJI Spark. I've had this little drone for a bit over a year now and if you've seen the vlog you know I've put it through a lot. I've crashed it four, maybe five times now, once in water. and. I guess that just all goes to show that this thing is very resilient. The DJI Spark was released in 2017 as DJI's premier like beginner drone. Now I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, all the specs, because odds are if you're watching this video, you already looked it up, you know a lot of the specs, and you're just looking for a basic, honest YouTuber's opinion. Just very briefly though, the Spark shoots 1080p. It has a max fly time of 16 minutes, supposedly. For me, it's more like 11, 10 minutes. It has a max distance of 100 meters away and 50 meters up. The biggest limiting factor on that transmission signal, the distance that it can go, is that it's using Wi-Fi instead of the other types of signals that all modern drones use. I can't even remember what it's called, but it's not Wi-Fi. Obviously, I've gotten a lot of use out of this drone, and it's a fantastic beginner drone. But would I recommend this drone, buying this drone, to anybody in 2020 when they're looking to get into a beginner drone, especially one for cameras, obviously. The short answer is no, not at all. But let me explain. DJI discontinued production of the Spark back in October 2019, I believe, with the release of their new smallest drone, the Mavic Mini. The Mavic Mini is basically the Spark 2.0 and it's superior to its predecessor in pretty much every way. But if you look online, it is at the exact same price point as a new DJI Spark. And that right there is why I would never, ever recommend the Spark to anybody in 2020. The Mavic Mini shoots higher resolution. It has double the flight time, double the range, cinematic flight modes that the Spark does not have. It has the ability to fold up and weighs 51 grams less than the Spark does, which is very convenient for getting around those pesky 250 gram drone laws here in the US. Laws that I have certainly not neglected to follow. I'm innocent. Look, it boils down to this. The DJI Spark is good, and I'm not getting rid of mine anytime soon, which is why I wrote my name on it in permanent ink. But the Mavic Mini is just, it's just better. And why would you get the Gen 1 if you can get the Gen 2 for the exact same price? So I wanted to make this video for those of you who might be seeing reviews of the Spark and checking that stuff out and wondering what the deal is with that versus the Mavic Mini. I wanted to clarify your thoughts on the DJI Spark and uh, kind of help you out with that information you might not know. Now, if you do have an opportunity to buy the Spark for say 200 bucks used, I'm not gonna tell you not to jump at that. It still works well, it's still good, but you need to be aware that while they're still manufacturing some replacement parts for the Spark, that's not gonna stick around forever and that is definitely something to keep in mind. That being said, if you enjoyed this video and if you have anything else that you want my opinion on, Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would definitely appreciate that. Man, it's like 90 degrees outside and I'm baking under this light. I can't, I don't know if you can see me sweating, but it's it's crazy, it's getting crazy. So do me a favor, hit the like button for me, and uh, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.